videos here where we'll discuss how to do uh, ligamentous testing in the lumbar spine. So you're doing this because during the history the person had a lot of signs and symptoms of instability, uh, which means like aberrant motions are seen during the objective. They complain of clicking or weakness lower back. Their pain range of motion is more during mid range versus the end range. They hate uh, prolonged positioning and they quickly go to another type of position. Positive H and I test, giving stability helps. So once we know it's unstable, we have to know which segment and which direction is you know, moving too much because that will help guide us during the treatment. Because if you're going too much posteriorly, we go posteriorly when we extend. So I so said, why is this guy going too much posteriorly in that segment above below, not going posterior enough? Okay? So put your hands like this. Okay? This one here is for the posterior translation. And we're always looking at the superior segment. Okay? So the person puts their forearms. I want you to bite like this, and then my hand come across, and I'll palpate the superior segment and the inferior segment. So let's say this hand over here is on L2, and this hand here is on L3, and then I had a person push me away, push me away. When they're pushing me away, the top half of the body, right, is going to push posteriorly, right, because they're pushing off of me. And my two fingers here, I'm making sure I don't feel this, excessive translation or pain, right? And you do this one segment at a time, okay? The key here is don't let, don't let the person cheat. They will go into a, a posterior pelvic tilt and then you think the person has a posterior translation. Instead, you're looking for this motion. So push away, push, good. And make sure they don't push again. They don't do that, okay? Now, and to your translation, key line on your side. Head, head, head this way. Okay. Um, so, you palpate. One segment, so I'm pop by L5. Once again, knees slightly off the table. And then my thigh pushes a femur posteriorly. The superior segment will have a relative anterior trans translation. So you're trying to see if you see too much anterior translation. Okay? And just one segment at a time. Um, another nice little thing to do clinically, you, you're curious to see can this muscle get stable if they activate the transverse abdominis. Can you pull your stomach in? And then push here and then see if this get more stable. And that's usually a good sign of a good prognosis that stabilization exercises will help this patient. If that didn't help, that means the person needs a lot more type of stability that deep muscles can provide. Um, the next one is lateral translation. Right? This one here is not for one segment but all the segments. You put your forearm right above the leg crest, you push straight down like this. And you're asking for pain, not where you're palpating, but in the spine. Once again, this is not segment related, it's for general translation. You do this on both sides. And the last one is rotation. You want to see if there's excessive rotation, so you, you go to the superior segment, which gives me L5, and what I do is I push in Fairly. and I see it is an excessive motion and then I go to the next segment and then do the same thing and then the next segment and see the same thing right? is it too much rotation compared to its counterparts okay so the reason why it's important to know this is if you're rotating too much over here I'm asking myself why aren't you rotating more over here because the main job of the thoracic spine Right? If you have too much anterior translation, anterior translation occurs with flexion, then I'm curious why aren't you flexing more other segments. It also tells you what direction your, your stabilization exercises should be in. So that's why that's very important to know. Right? Because if you have too much anterior translation, that's associated with flexion. I need to work on doing UCM or uncontrolled motion control exercises that prevent excessive flexion type of stuff. Right? So that was doing stability testing in the lumbar spine.